Monica. Hello, welcome to Tartine. Thank you, good to see you. Good seeing you. Beautiful place. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. We are, we love it being here. So tell me a little bit about what you do here. So Tartine um, is a European influenced uh, cafe, eatery, restaurant, wine bar. Uh, that my husband and I opened almost three years ago. Uh, we moved from Belgium to, uh, to settle here in Beverly. Uh, we chose Beverly because I'm familiar with this area mm -hmm. and because of, I went to Endicott. And um, so we, we wanted to create something we were used to from Europe, a comfortable place, a social place. And so we set up in Beverly and we offered a coffee shop or uh, a place where people could meet. Um, come for meetings, enjoy a nice uh, meal or coffee um, without a sense of hurriedness. Perhaps we could sit, I can offer you something to drink that and we can wonderful. sit and have a conversation. Thank you. Wonderful. Yeah, great. I was with a group this morning and I said uh, the two things that are most frequently discussed with prospective students are the three internships that we require, which is a big differentiator for us, and the three beaches. I said the internships the parents love, the beaches the students love. <laughs> um, actually, I owe my career to that internship I did at Endicott. It was very... Where was your internship? Uh, Mass Industries. They were the um, major vendor for the limited corporation. Oh, wow. Big company. Yes. And so I started with Abercrombie and Fish, then Victoria's Secrets, and um, finished the internship, graduated from Endicott, worked for them for a year and a half, and then I was a little ready to go back to Europe. So I moved to Europe and I met my husband at that time. Oh, and so, yeah. So Monica, tell me, you've been an entrepreneur, you've been to Endicott through the curriculum, you know how important the internships are. Um, tell me, um, what advice would you give some of our students today uh, about starting their own business or becoming an entrepreneur? I would say take risks. Put yourself out there. If you think, if, if you have a dream or if you have an idea for a business, do it. Do it. Have, if you have a good um, support system, your family, friends um, around you who can help you in the difficult times, go for it. Um, because it's, it's, it's hard, but it's worth it. It really is. There's never a linear path to success, right? So we all have setbacks yes. and things. And how important is it for young people to realize that sometimes things don't always go your way? They never go your way. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> you have to keep at it. Yeah. Absolutely. You, um, you try something, and if it doesn't, if it doesn't work, then you just redirect. Mm -hmm. and, and, but trust yourself. You know, you've graduated from college. You've, that was a big milestone. Now, now you can do, go out in the world and do something for yourself and trust yourself and take a risk. And it may not be how you planned, but that's a good thing. That's a good thing, yeah. you know. And, and, and we've, had, we've had some bumps in the road opening this, you know, this business, but we've learned from it and it's, it's made us redirect and it's been it's been great how important is your passion for your work when when you embark on something entrepreneurial i think you know i think the the common denominator of all entrepreneurs is you are so passionate it makes makes you just keep going mm. um and i think you with that passion it makes you overcome a lot of these difficulties and you have to be, it's a commitment. Having your own business, it's a commitment. You are never, there's never a day off. Um, you're committed, this is your life for at least the first two, three years where you grow the roots and make a solid business for yourself. Things get easier, but there's nothing like going to work and it's your own place and your own business. When my husband and I decided to open Tartine, it was also for us, to have a home away from home. We moved here with our family, um, our family's overseas, and so we needed a place that felt familiar, and the familiar sense for us was social. In Europe, we're very social. Mm. We, we go out to cafe with friends, after work we have a glass of wine, or um, we meet a colleague, and, and we 
were looking for such a place and we said, you know, let's just create it. And, um, and we've created that for, for the community, which um, when we hear that from them, it's, it's, it's very rewarding. So, so you took a big risk coming here to start this business. Mm -hmm. What advice can you give me as the leader of your alma mater? Enjoy it, <laughs> I would say. It's, it's, um, I have wonderful memories about Endicott, and, um, and I think it's a special place. And I, and I, I hope that you, you feel as much of that as I did as a student. And it's a wonderful community, and the, the faculty, I have wonderful memories of the faculty and the students, and I think that you've, um, you've picked a wonderful place to be. I wish you all the luck, not that you need it, this is a stunning, Thank you. stunning place, and I can tell that your heart's in it, which yes. is really the most important yes, thing. Yes, it is. Yeah. We, um, we, we absolutely love it here. We love the life here, um, and the community that we've come to, to know. We have uh, a lot of regular patrons that have become friends, and that makes it all of the bad days makes them a lot better, I said, you know. Oh, that's great. Um, well, cheers to you. Well, thank you. Thank you very much.